Okay, time for New Year presents and my personal present to myself was a Formbot uh, Boron 0.1 kit and I kind of unboxed it and let's see if it meets the expectations and the thing which Formbot advertised. Uh, we expect to have a fully pre creamed wiring, uh, Moon's motors, uh, well, stainless steel screws and everything else. Let's step to the frame. So uh, the frame includes all the 19 extrusions, drilled, taped and cut to the size. Coroplast parts are 3 mm thick and the transparent acrylic panels are 2.5 mm thick. Screws, nuts and bolts are stainless steel. Also would prefer uh, blackened ones because they're a bit sturdier and harder to damage while assembling. But that's a personal preference. And uh, yeah, the shims uh, are also stainless, not the brass ones like I got in my previous kits. There are five generic and branded linear rails. Well, they're branded with the Vividina logo, but I don't see the actual brand here because it's just a laser engraving. Forbot says that they're gonna ship Moon's motors, but actually only the pancake motor is Moon's and three other motors are Akeda. Uh, not a better placement, they're basically of the same quality, but uh, that's definitely not what they're saying. Bed consists of a standard uh, aluminum plate, uh, Vidinos heater, not Kenovo. Um, 122 degrees uh, thermal fuse, yellow springs, not sure how genuine they are, and a piece of uh, textured paste sheet together with a magnetic adhesive. By the way, this is energetic 3D. The other part is not pay coated, it's just, uh, well, it's powder coated or something similar. So I would advise you to get a smooth pay plate from energetic because it usually gives better results than the textured one fans are very generic ones one is kaija kaiju kaisha or something similar another one is um kisi dc fan dc brushless so if i have a chance i will replace them with uh, something little less suspicious. This is a very generic and uh, the first time I see these brands on a market. Electronics include uh, 24 to 5 volt converter. Uh, yeah, a generic 24 volt uh, power supply plus Raspberry Pi plus uh, 16 gigabytes SD card plus a generic power inlet and uh, SKR Two, well, that yeah, the, this Esker Mini E3 V2 uh, with the uh, headsings for the controllers. It also includes a lot of GST connectors. In fact, this is the standard kit which uh, Formbot is putting with every printer as a ship and a bunch of MicroFit 3 connectors. Most of the wires are actually pre creamed power wires, more power wires. All the micro switches, they are connected, they are uh, heat tube insulated, all the, all the end connectors are connected too. Um, however, they do not crimp the motors, they have a roll of these four uh, lane ri ri ribbon cable, which is intended to use with NEMA motors, so some crimping is still due. There are a bunch of standard power connectors, a short piece of uh, cable chain and a cable sleeve. Previously, when you order a different hotend from Farmbird, they usually send you an E3D and then they send um, you a correct hotend in a separate base cage. This is not the case anymore, they send you a correct hotend right away with some additional bowling couplers with some additional, well, extruder parts, bowden tube and triangle laps, trimester and heater. Of course, the kit also includes some motion components, which is GT belts, pulleys, bearings, 
legs well not a motion component but still a nice thing to have and um, linear uh, screw nut which is used for the z-axis and finally there are some additional supplies like cable ties a bit of VHB tape and a bit of insulation tape so the usual they send it uh, with all their kits and that's basically it um, to sum up there are some very uh, strange fans apart of that the kit is okay and leave a comment if you want me to see building it and do another build video like I did with 2.4 Happy New Year guys!